What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D Nice, FBCC NYC, and I'm going to do a review of the Zoom Flight Glove uh, Elm Streets. This was a collaboration between me and my students from uh, my my workshop in uh, Berkeley, California, at the Canning Shop. We did a customizers one on one thing. Uh, every year, I do something to give back. Um, I call it Pay It Forward. So this year to pay it forward, I wanted to teach my craft to an eager group of young uh, young students, and I I must say I had an amazing time working with them, and um, still mentoring them, and I'm seeing all of the work that they're doing. So shout out to all my students. Um, you guys know who you are. So uh, let's get into the box, man. Team FBCC member Johnny Blaze on Instagram at Johnny Blaze 52, I believe it is. Um, he made this box. Um, he did an amazing job. He made it from scratch. The box is tin. It's not a wood box. It's just straight up tin. And he wrote here. Uh, wrote. He painted it. Like, this kid is really dope. Uh, one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, you better lock your door. Five, six, grab your crucifix. And then, um, bring it around to this side. Seven, eight, better stay up late. Nine, ten, never sleep again. It has the Freddy Krueger uh, silhouette with the FBCC logo. He also made he also makes and he made this custom box label. Me and him worked on this. I uh, you know I let him know I wanted the slash marks. So it says ear zoom fly glove Elm Street size eight and a half. The color is red, green, and tortured flesh. And this is made by FBCC. Put the product code there. And uh, FBCC INC.com. The website is coming. We're still developing it. I wanted to be right, so I'm not rushing it. I'm you know suggested retail price. It's priceless. Because it is priceless custom. This is a one of one. Um, Gary Payton himself uh, wants a pair, so uh, I would definitely make a pair for him because, you know, it's his uh, shoe model. He sent me some shoes too. So, um, and he shouted me out. Like, it's great to see a legend respect your work. You know, I did a, a few pairs of shoes for his son, Gary Payton Jr. So, shout out to him for supporting the uh, FBCC and the Team FBCC movement. So, it's welcome to my nightmare. This right here says Elm Street. It fell out uh, when DJ Dells, man, shout out to DJ Dells. He also did a review of these. And you can go to DJ Dells, uh, inst not Instagram page, his uh, YouTube page. And uh, he has a really great review. Uh, dope, he's one of my favorite reviewers, if not my favorite, which I think he is. Um, that's why I chose him to do the first review of these. And now that I got my channel, I'm like, you know what? Let me let me also uh, give my insight on these. So, you got the Freddy Krueger painted there. It's, it's, it, it, I mean, it's great work. Like... He, uh, Johnny Blaze does make boxes for others, so um, you can hit him up um, on Instagram. So let's get into it. <laughs> so also, I wanted you to see, like, see that he he created that rust effect, that patina. Like this is not cheap shit. And next month we have a crazy ass, crazy ass box to show you guys in custom. Uh, another, you know, a lot of people are touting these as the custom of the year. I think they are creativity wise. I think they are the one of the most dopest customs come out in a long time. Not just because I did them with my students, but just because of the creativity and the shoe that. Now people are saying, "Oh, you should have did the dunks." There's already Freddy Krueger dunks. There's no shoe, in my opinion, that was a better silhouette to do a Freddy Krueger than a shoe to actually zip up like the sweater. You know, and I think these were the best shoes to do that too. So. Let me put this one down real quick Because I want y'all to really, you know, understand It's like Shout out to Ete Customs uh, That's my student, he's also my apprentice He'll be uh, moving up here and uh, working with me soon And he did a lot of this uh, midsole work With the splatter effect and the blood And the, the, that flesh color um, My other student, Mari Sonora She did She painted the uh, monkey's paw To look like Freddy Krueger's glove she did a great job with that. Um, Speezy Customs, um, Powell Customs, uh, Sean Leo Five One Zero, um, the homie Jay. I'm trying to make sure I don't uh, leave anybody out. Young Maybach, he worked on these. These are all my students' Instagram names. So let's get into the, the shoe. Let me uh, pull the other one out so you guys can really uh, see what I'm talking about here. So uh, I'm gonna sit down. I do this makes this a lot easier. All right, so what we did was we took the top upper off, and basically I had to remake this 
sweater so I use a microfiber suede and the reason why I picked the microfiber suede is if you know your textures like I've been picking fabric since I was six years old my mom she's um so a, a really highly skilled seamstress and this was her side hustle uh, making clothes and designing so like she would send me to you know at six years old I would take the train in New York to Manhattan or the different parts of Brooklyn to get the fabric she needed she would send me with swatches so knowing about uh, this fabric this microfiber suede I knew I could burn it and get this effect and it would it would burn correctly you know so like that that was this was all done on purpose so after I made the sweater then I added the burn marks to it I kept the um because the, these were the red Miami Heat um the Miami Heat uh, GP so I kept the red material and put this on top of it to layer it and the reason why I did that was because I wanted the red to show under it you see that that's the original uh, material that's under there let me uh, zoom out then zoom in for you see so that's why I did that you got your tortured flesh up here with the blood splatter then when you pull it down I'm sorry guys alright so when you pull it down you see these faces with more blood and goriness this is all made to look like it's like it's destroyed we this is all done purposely the shoelaces we made ourselves um, they don't have shoelaces like this we took parachute cord in this color because it has like two different color greens in it and let me focus on it so you can see what I'm talking about see and so and then we added the flesh uh, aglets we made these as well but this is my favorite feature on this shoe. Look at the nose, like in the mouth. Like you can see the teeth and everything. Like it looks like to me, like somebody took a shotgun and blew his face off. And that's why I really like the tongue. This is an Italian distressed leather. None of these materials on here are cheap. This is really great, great quality leather. So this is Italian distressed leather. Also, the tongue is lined in Italian distressed leather. The um, insole, which I'll take out real quick. It looks like Freddy Cougar's sweater. And I got this material from a Hot Topic tank top. It was a Freddy Cougar tank top for women, and I got that. And that's how I did that. And it was Freddy Cougar, so it, it went perfect with the shoe. Okay, so now that I showed you this shoe, and of course you know on the other side you have the monkey paw, done by, like I said, Mari Sonora. A talented young lady, uh, my only female student, and um, great kids, man, great kids. Like, like I said, shout out to my students if you guys are watching this. Of course, on the back, you got the glove. Um, now, let's get to the other shoe. Again, you can see the uh, Italian Distress Leather and the double stitching on point and like a maroon. So, and then you have the other face, which is completely different from the other shoe. And this is my favorite one. This looks scary. Look at that shit. This is a scary shoe. This is actually walking art. Like, this is art. And this is what I love about this custom. Now, now that I gave you the um, the story of how I did the custom, let me tell you what made me want to do this custom. So, my class was a two-part class. Actually, it was a three-part class. But it was two parts at the Berkeley shop and then one part at my office. So, um, the reason I came with this custom, my students thought we were going to do phone posits. Phone posits are fairly easy to do. And of course they've been done to death. Nobody's ever done anything like this. So I told them they were gonna do a phone posit. They didn't know, but when we came to the class, I was like, hey, we're actually gonna do one of the dopest customs ever. And I was like, we're gonna do Freddy Cougar gloves. And like, you know, hence the glove, Freddy Cougar gloves, right? So, so, um, you know, like, you, I can see their faces. They're like, okay, they were excited, but they didn't really understand it. And so I put it together for them and showed them. And then they got really excited and really jumped on board. Like I said, I have great students, man. Each and every one of them are really dope. And they uh, they definitely, um, they def I learned from them as well. You know what I'm saying? It's not, sometimes uh, to be a master, you have to be a teacher. And I'm, you know, and I'm trying to get there, you know? So sometimes, you know, you, 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 you can learn from people as well as teaching them. So look at this. Like, this shoe is really dope. Now... She, did, she also did this this one too And like I said This is so one of a kind Like nothing is the same On this shoe You know And this shoe has inspired Other customizers To do some Some dope Freddy customs You know Like I said You know um, You inspire people You know what it is But As customizers I just wish Like We were a little bit more Original Than we're, art, than we're being right now And um, And we're all artists So I don't feel like You should ever have to copy Somebody else's art Because we're all dope artists 
and we all have a gift, you know? God, it's a God-given gift and a God-given talent, you know? Look at this face, though. And, and I'm thankful for my gift, and when I do have moments that I do share it, you know? It's not an everyday thing. This is still a business, but this channel will show you some tips and tricks to do certain things um, that I feel comfortable sharing, you know? So you don't really have to put a request out there. Um, you can if you want, but don't get mad if I don't fulfill your request on what you want to learn how to do. Because, like I said, this is still a business. I still, this is how I make my bread, you know? So I can't give, a magician can't give away all the secrets. It's basically what I'm trying to say. So this is the shoe zipped up. And like I said, once again, shout out to DJ Dells, uh, one of the dopest uh, YouTube reviewers. And I believe he's the first one that I've ever seen reviewing shoes. And he's got like a really good um, company to respect him. They respect his word, you know. So, this is the Freddy Krueger Zoom Flight Gloves Elm Street by FBCC and his students. Um, FBCC is the company. D Nice is the name. Um, and also, I got this cool ass Freddy Krueger T-shirt to rock with him. And I have some Freddy Krueger uh, custom socks too that are dope. Um, I wore them so they're in the laundry. But you know, for people who say what. What could you wear that with? If you got swag, you could wear it with whatever. You know, um, I wear them. I've worn them like twice already, and it's not even Halloween yet. But, um, I mean, they're dope. <laughs> they're dope ass shoes. To me, at least, you know? So, like I said, this is a new channel, man. Thanks for subscribing. I'll let your friends know about it. You might learn something, you know? And you may not, <laughs> who knows, but it'll definitely be fun. So yeah, I'm out of here.